Dear colleagues, this patient had floppy itis. Let us see how the case was managed. This is the main incision at around 11 o'clock. Now, viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber. This is HPMC, that is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Now, this is a side port on the right side of the main incision, and this is another one on the left side of the main incision. Now, capsular excess is done. I incise the anterior capsule with a 26 case bent needle, raise this kind of large easy to hold capsular flap. I hold this capsular tag with a uterata forceps, go anticlockwise, try to remain at equal distance from the margin of the dilated pupil all around and thus I make a fairly round adequate sized rexus. Now little bit of viscoelastic substance is expressed out and then hydrodissection is done. Hydrodissection nuclear depression followed by nuclear rotation are performed. Then some more viscoelastic substance is injected into the entry chamber and now is the time to enter into the eye with the tip of the FACO handpiece. This is Oatley's Cataracts 3 FACO machine. Now see what happens. As I try to chop the nucleus the pupil has become small, the iris is tending to prolapse through the side port. So I have decided to chop the nucleus into several fragments and then come out and do nucleus management only with my right hand, only with the FECO handpiece without using chopper. See the advantage. As I come out, the iris tends to prolapse through the main incision also. So, viscoelastic substance is injected. The iris is sent back to its normal position. After injecting viscoelastic substance, we can see that people has dilated. And now see what happens. As I go only with irrigation into the entry chamber, see the people dilates more. And this much dilatation will remain if I do FECO with only one hand, with my right hand in this case, and see how easy it is to hold the nuclear fragments. Just turn the tip towards the nuclear mass, use a bit irrigation and aspiration, and the nuclear piece comes. Draw it at the center and emulsify it. This is the last nuclear fragment. It is also emulsified. So it is very easy to do fake emulsification with one hand, particularly in such cases, cases with eye face. People will remain more dilated if there is, uh, if the chopper is not used. The people will not, the iris will not tend to prolapse to the side port. There will be no picking of people towards the side port and you will be able to manage the nucleus very comfortably. And the cortical cleanup is being done with the help of a 23 gauge direct Simco cannula and see the magic of this instrument very fast. It comes out. The only disadvantage is you have to make a little larger side port. The side port size is about 1.4 millimeter in this case. And now, after cortical cleanup, viscoelastic substance is injected in eye face. Don't use only irrigation for implantation of intraocular lens because the people will tend to prolapse through the the uh, iris will tend to prolapse through the main incision to the side board and you'll have a lot of difficulties. So better to implant the eye well under viscoelastic cover. This is a hydrophilic acrylic intraocular lens. The lens is placed in the capsular bag with the help of the chopper. The trailing haptic has been sent. This is a Sinsky hook. It dials the lens into the position I want to go behind the lens so the haptics are placed in this case at 
uh, 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock meridian and now thorough cleaning of viscoelastic substance is done from in front and from behind the eye thorough cleaning of viscoelastic substance is important to prevent post of rise of intraocular pressure because of this viscoelastic substance the viscoelastic substance can clog the trabecular meshwork and there can be rise of intraocular pressure which can be prevented if you clean the viscoelastic substance thoroughly so i used simco cannula i am using irrig irrigation aspiration device irrigation aspiration that is by manual uh, ia and thus i am cleaning the viscoelastic substance thoroughly now i inject a bit of uh, moxifloxacin then i hide it the side port and then i do a final anti chamber lavage this is hydration of the side ports thus these wounds become waterproof now i go to higher magnification and clean the viscoelastic substance from the corneal endothelium a gentle stream of fluid is passed towards the back of the cornea and all the viscoelastic substance gets dislodged and comes out and now the antechamber is formed and the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in your practice